Hi there guys and girls, this is Ben Effla. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can extract the Warhammer Total War models and textures uh, from either Warhammer Total War 1 or 2, uh, extract them and convert them into something more usable. For this example I'll be covering FBX, but you can also convert them to OBJ and, and others as well. I'll actually show you the list of what you can extract it to, but this example is primarily for people who are retexturing models and, and they maybe use programs such as Quixel or Mudbox to 3D paint the assets. I'm not going to go super in depth to how to install programs. You, I'm sure you already know how to install and unzip programs, but if you're new to this, you're going to need to have like something like 7-Zip or WinRAR to extract the, the files that I'm going to be linking to because they're obviously zipped up. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, let's crack on by covering first where you can find the files. In the description box below, you'll see I'll have listed Rusted Pack File Manager, Pack File Manager, Gnosis, and a Gnosis script, and a link to download the demo version of Ultimate Unwrap 3D. This tutorial, I actually used two of these programs. Well, I used three of these links, but I only used two of the, the four mentioned programs. I use Rich Whitehouse's Gnosis program, and I also use Frodo 45127's Rusted Pack File Manager. But like I say, there the, these other files, the, the Pack File Manager by Danny Yu uh, or Ultimate Unwrap 3D are also applicable. You could use these and uh, just the same thing as the two programs that I'm mentioning. But like I say, they, they're all listed in the description box. And just to show you where the download links are, for Pack File Manager, the download link is right in the middle of the screen. It says download current version 4.1.2. For the Rusted Pack File Manager, it's a little bit further down, saying you can download the file here. And there's a link to a GitHub link. Uh, for Gnosis, on Rich Whitehouse's page, you go to Projects. And then just under this image, it says download Gnosis 442. And for the Python script you're, you're going to need for Gnosis. I believe you also need to make a, an account with this forum to download files. So, and it's free to do it. So it's just you make a, an account, like there's mine there, and then you should then be able to click on the link that's posted in the description box. It should open up page three. If it doesn't open up page three, just skip to page three by clicking on the little numbers. Scroll halfway down and download FMT Warhammer Total War No Skin Rar by Jane23. Once you've got all those files downloaded and extracted, the only thing you need to do in regards to the script is to pull it into the Gnosis's plugin Python script folder. So I'll show you that right now. You're going to want to get your Gnosis extract open. So the folder that you extracted will look something like this. You want to go to plugins, Python, and then what you also want to do is open up I put in my MISC folder the extracted FMT Warhammer Total War no skin folder. Well, I click that, open it, copy this Python script, and then just paste it inside the Python folder. Once you've done that, that is Gnosis ready for later on. However, before we get to Gnosis, you're going to first want to know how to extract files. Uh, so I'm going to quickly, really quickly talk you through how to extract the meshes and textures. Uh, and I've made an example folder where we're going to be placing all our extracted files to, just, you know, just so you can see them easy enough. And I, the extracts will go in here and the converted files will go in here. So that's just a, a quick heads up for simplicity. I've made one folder. So how you do it is I'm going to open up the Rusted Pack File Manager. I'm going to click on Windows and I'm going to click on the RPFM code.exe exe file and then you should have a window it looks like this pop up what you then need to do is find where you've installed your warhammer total war one or two and navigate to that directory because you need to open up the data directory to, to find the meshes and textures so for this example we'll open up and extract um the minotaurs because i've already done that so i know exactly what to do so what i'll do is i'll go to pack file open pack file, navigate to where my Steam games are installed, which is games, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Yours might be in a different location or set up a different way. 
but there will still be this naming convention of Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. And then I'm going to scroll down to Warhammer, open up the data folder, and then to get the meshes, I'm going to go to the variance pack. I'm going to click it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open up the WH variant models, and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to HU12 because this is where the minotaurs are. Or this is a folder that the minotaurs are saved under. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to click extract. I'm then going to navigate to the, the folder that I created inside tools called example folder. I'm going to click it. I'm going to say select folder and then I'm going to extract and there's no errors. I'm now going to extract the, uh, the textures for these meshes. So I'm going to do pack file, open pack file, navigate to where my games are installed. And then this time I'm going to click on variance underscore DDS because that is the texture format that the game uses. I'm going to click it. I'm going to do the same as before, twirl down the little folders, scroll down to HU12, click it, right click, extract, and then again I'm going to go to the exact same folder, tools, example folder, and in that example folder, I'm just going to click select folder. But before I do so, I'm going to quickly show you something. In this example folder, this is the extracted meshes. If we click on it and open it all up, you'll see that there's three folders. I'm going to click on Minotaurs, and then under Minotaurs, you'll see there's low poly and materials. But when we extract the textures folder, you'll see a new folder will be added into this folder structure called text, and that's obviously where the textures are saved. So let me just quickly back up, go back to example folder, click that, click select, press OK. We're now finished with that, we can close it. I'm going to go back and I'm going to quickly just show you example folder, variant meshes, Warhammer, 12, Beast, Minotaurs, and now there's the third folder text and it has all our textures. Right, now that we've got the meshes and textures extracted, you might be wondering, okay, how do I make these meshes be usable with 3ds max uh, i can't import a rigid model v2 mesh so for example we're going to be converting a rigid head 02 uh, sorry a beast minotaur head 02 rigid model v2 we're going to convert that into something that we can import to 3ds max so to do that we're going to go to gnosis you're going to see there's a debug log will open up here. You can just close that down. Now, obviously, this is already opened up to the exact location uh, where we've extracted the the meshes to, but when you first open it, it's not. So in this example, it's the expansion drive is what we're using as our um, modding folder. So I'm going to click on the expansion drive, click on projects, total war modding, go down to tools, and obviously we've got this folder called example folder that I created. I'm going to just click on that, twirl down the variant meshes, WH variant models, HU12, BST for beast, and then you've got the minotaurs folder. We'll just click on this minotaurs folder, don't have to open it, because we want to see the contents which is appears in this middle window. And like I said, we're going to convert the minotaur head 02 rigid model and turn it into a FBX file. So. We're going to click it, we're going to view it, it's perfect for what I want it for, it's a minotaur head with no face shielding on it, so that's ideal for texturing purposes. I'm going to go up to file, export from preview, and then I'm going to select as the location, uh, it's going to be the converted folder that we created inside this example folder. So converted, I'm going to call it head 2. Just to know which head it is that I've extracted and converted, we press save. And like I said, FBX is what I'm wanting. There's these options where you can flip UVs and no textures rotate. You know, you can do all these options. I'm not going to click on any of that, but I did say there's lots of options of what you can export to. So here you see there's a the wave front OBJ. There's a you know stuff for Doom and Prey. There's stuff for Quake, you know, there's lots of options here. Uh, obviously, the only option I use is FBX for Autodesk or OBJ. 
So I'm going to keep it clicked on FBX. I'm going to click export. Export complete. I'm going to press OK and then I can close this window and I can actually close this off. But what I'd probably tend to do is I'd, I'd also export, say, a body uh, and I'd export a set of legs and then I'd have everything, you know, I'd have the whole model exported so I can texture everything. But for this tutorial, it's, you know, the, the steps that I've taken to do the head is all, you know, you apply that to everything else. Uh, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to example folder, converted, and then you'll see the head 02.fbx file is here. If I double click that, we can use the 3D viewer to see the mesh. And like I say, this is ideal now for doing further editing and tweaking and say 3ds Max, and then export that mesh as a OBJ for 3D painting inside Mudbox or Quixel. But yeah, that, that, is, the, that is the steps on how to export the meshes and textures. Thanks for watching guys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Uh, it took me a couple of days to learn all these steps, so hopefully I was able to convey what I took two days learning uh, and taught you what I learned in the matter of 10 minutes. Uh, so without you having to go to dodgy websites or downloading files that maybe weren't necessarily correct. So hopefully that is um, something that's assisted you. Hopefully I also taught you something new. Uh, either way, if you like the video or you just want to show your support, you can click on the like button, you can leave me a comment, you just can subscribe to the channel. And you can obviously click on the bell to get notified of my uploads. All those things help the channel out tremendously. So thank you in advance. I've been Ben. You've been awesome.